Hello everyone, I'm Suraj Ramesh, Product Manager for OCA Full Stack DR. Joining me today is Andrew Mubarak, a Full Stack OCA Specialist from the EMEA Cloud Engineering Team here at Oracle. In this video, we will provide a quick overview of the OCA OKE integration with Full Stack DR, followed by a detailed demo. OCA Kubernetes Engine is a fully managed Kubernetes service on OCI for developing, scaling and managing containerized application. With this new feature, you can add the OKE clusters as a member in the Full Stack DR protection group. OK supports multiple node types such as managed nodes and virtual nodes. Full stack DS support these port types. Once everything is available, you can add the primary OK cluster to the primary DR protection group and the standby OK cluster to the standby DR protection group. Based on the application DR type, you must include other resources like volume groups, file storage, Oracle database, etc. in the respective DR protection groups. Finally, create DR plans in the standby DR protection. Let's look at some of the important features. Full stack DR periodically backup of all the Kubernetes resources, including deployment stateful sets and cron jobs, along with the custom resources, ensuring easy recovery. Full stack DR automatically replicate the container chemistry images from one region to another region for seamless recovery. It helps to enable automatic scale up and scale down of node pools in both primary and standby clusters based on the defined properties. Persons and volumes are included in DR plans, ensuring stateful applications can recover with data integrity. Finally, it provides a seamless integration with various OCI resources such as load balancer, networking, Oracle database for a comprehensive DR strategy. With this, I will hand it over to Anton for a detailed demo of this feature. To demonstrate the capabilities of this new feature, I have set up an OKE cluster in Dubai as the primary deployment with an additional standby cluster located in Abu Dhabi. In this setup, we are running a stateless deployment on OKE fully connected to an autonomous database. The autonomous database is configured with autonomous data guard to ensure continuous data replication to the remote region. Full stack DR will regularly take a backup of the application deployment and transfer the backup to the remote object storage bucket. Also, as you can see in the diagram, the, work, the number of worker nodes across both clusters is not identical. This will help on optimizing cost for the standby architecture. I will show you how to set up full stack DR to scale the worker nodes during the recovery process. This is not mandatory, but if you are in the case of reducing cost on the standby region, this will be helpful for you. As part of the switch over, full stack DR will first stop the application in the primary OKE cluster, then perform the switch over of the autonomous database. It will scale the worker nodes accordingly and finally restore the backup from the bucket on into the OKE cluster in the standby region. And the backup will be rescheduled in the other way to Dubai region. Let's move now to the OCI console to demonstrate this feature in action. You can see the cluster in Dubai region with one node pool. And in the node pool, I have uh, four nodes. And in Abu Dhabi, the cluster in Abu Dhabi with the same node pool but with only two nodes and if i show you also the autonomous database in dubai a primary db in dubai which is configured with autonomous data guard to replicate the data to abu dhabi region let's show now the uh, deployment Here you have the application already deployed in Dubai, in Abu Dhabi. There's no application running in, in Abu Dhabi. Okay, and this demo application is reachable from the internet with a public URL, which is this one and uh, it will be switched to the public load balancer in the Abu Dhabi region during the switchover. Let's move on and configure full stack DR in the primary region. 
by creating the DR protection group. I will call it OKDXP. I will put a bucket for the uh, execution logs and I will create one. I will do the same in the other region. Then I will do the association as usual. So this one will be associated, will have the primary rule and the other one in Abu Dhabi. Association is done now. And let's start by adding the OKE into the primary DR protection group. So here you will select OKE as resource type. I will choose the primary OKE. I will choose the bucket for the backup. And then I will schedule a daily backup. I will choose this time and I will keep, let's say, for example, three, three uh, days for the retention. Okay. I will not enable, I don't have image replication. I don't have any secret to replicate. And I will choose the namespace to be backup. By default, it's a full backup, but I want to select only this uh, namespace to be backup. And then I will choose the peer OKE cluster th where this backup will be restored. Then in the advanced option, you can see the node pool scaling. So here for this node pool, I will put two as the minimum and four as the maximum. Okay. If I have multiple node pool, I can add multiple node pools and the other options. I'm not using it, but if you're using jump host or the native ingress controller, you can do the mapping here or any vault mapping. You can do them in this advanced option. Now this is done. I will hit add. So the OK is now added. Let's add now the primary autonomous database. And I will choose a snapshot standby for the drill. And I will hit add. So the autonomous was added. Let's move to the standby region and add the members, the RPG. I will choose OKE first. I will select the standby OKE. I will select the bucket for the backup. As it's a standby one, I don't have to specify the uh, backup schedule as of now. I just have to map with the peer OKE cluster. And I will hit. And finally, let's add the standby autonomous. And again, put snapshot standby. And now for this deployment, uh, all the resources are now added to the both the R protection group. Let's now create the DR plan and as usual from the standby DRPG. Let's start by with the switch over plan. We will give a name, switch over, and I will hit create. So the switch over plan is now created. Let's have a look. So uh, as you can see, it's created with all the steps related to stopping and cleaning the the cluster in the primary region, switch over the DB, scale up the cluster in the standby, restore the uh, deployment in the standby, and then reschedule the backup in the other way and scale down the old primary uh, cluster. This is the switch over. Let's create another plan, the failover plan. Similarly, the failover plan is now created and uh, these steps are slightly different. It's uh, a failover of the autonomous scale up and restore because it's a real catastrophic event in case of failover. And finally, let's also create a uh, drill type of plan. The drill is also created and as, as usual, it has the different steps. Let's focus now on the switch over for this demo. Uh, let me run the pre-check. I don't have any customization because I have DNS steering policies that will uh, switch the traffic to the uh, standby load balancers once I executed the switch over. Let me run the pre-checks now. And we can, it's in the queue, we can 
monitor from the logs here. The pre-checks uh, completed, 3 minutes 46 uh, seconds. Let's now run the switch over. Ignore the pre-checks as it was executed before and then execute the plan. Let's indicate progress. So the part related to stopping the application on the primary OK cluster is completed. It's on the stage of switching the uh, autonomous DB. If I check my application now, here it's it should be unavailable. OK. And if I check the OK deployment in Dubai, I will see that there is no more new shop application deployed. OK. So the plan is still in progress. The, we are at the phase of uh, scaling up the uh, OK cluster in the standby. As you can see here, it was two nodes and it it's had been scaled up to four nodes now. And the autonomous DB was switched over. So it's still, also the application is now restored on the standby OK cluster. It, I should see all the pods here. There we go. And Normally, I should have my application back again from the uh, standby region. So the plan completed uh, successfully. Everything is working fine. And I can check again on the primary that also the no more application is running on this OKE cluster and the number of nodes was also reduced to two. Okay, where I have here the four nodes with the application running here in Abu Dhabi. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and provided valuable insight. Thank you for watching.